What is going on guys? This is going to be a tutorial for NordVPN on your iPhone. If you want the best price on NordVPN with all the special discounts, you can click the link in the link in the description or a pinned comment for those discounts and you can check a review on NordVPN. The easiest way to connect to a VPN is you want to do quick connect and, and they're going to connect you to a server that NordVPN think is best for you. You can see how quickly it is. Just click on quick connect and within a couple seconds, I'm already connected to a UK server. Now if I want to disconnect and straight from here, I can pause. And then you can select either pause for five minutes, pause for 30 minutes or pause for an hour. And if I don't want to pause, then I can click on disconnect and I'm already disconnected super quick. In order to find the server that you want, you just want to click on search connection. Then you want to search your country or your city, in this case, the United States. We search, it loads, and then you can see that we have 19 different cities of the United States. So we can click on those three dashes and then you have access to all the different servers. So for example, we have Atlanta, Boston, Buffalo, Kansas. Right below, you can see the different servers that they have in each city. So if I click on Atlanta, it's automatically going to connect me to a server that is under Atlanta. And if you don't want that server, you can click on that blue button with the arrows going in a circle and it's going to find you another server in the city. And if and if I want to switch to another server, you can see they're searching for Atlanta. I can click on Boston and now it's going to search for Boston server. And let me explain the speciality servers that NordVPN offers. So if I click on that, you have double VPN. So what this is, is this is like a super VPN that will protect you with two VPNs. So you get even more protection. And Onion over VPN will give you the anonymity of Onion, which is in the Tor browser. Very, very secure as well as VPN protection. And P2P servers are for speciality P2P activities such as torrenting. Now to go to settings, we're going to click the bottom right corner. Then we're going to click the top right. And here we have the protocol. You could either do Nord Links, Open VPN, Open VPN, TCP. In this case, we're just going to use the recommended, which is the default. And for auto connect, you could either do off or you could do on on Wi-Fi networks or you could always choose to be connected and always have your inner anonymity and auto connects already connecting to the fastest server and here you can reset your VPN profile which will delete your VPN profile and disconnect you and here you can do appearance you could either do light mode dark mode in this case I'm always going to do dark mode better for your eyes you can do your notifications you can do Siri shortcuts where you can set phrases for connecting and disconnecting such as quick connect, disconnect, and here I could do hey Siri quick connect. So here we have threat protection. You always want to have this connected because this is going to protect you from threats. Right here you can turn on your multi-factor authentication. You can refer a friend, you can contact us. And these are the different services that NordVPN offers. And right here you have your dark web monitor so you can click on that and it's going to show the different leaks that your email is connected to. So for example, right now my email has got connected to two different breaches on the dark web. So it's really nice to have. There's no reason to stop this functionality is very useful and also you want to add a different email if there's any links between your email and any other websites that you signed up to that possibly got compromised and here you have your security score so it's telling me i should set up auto connect and i should set up multi-factor authentication and right here you have statistics it says if i'm connected or not there's my ip address how long i've connected for the protocol the weekly time i've been connected for my current streak longest connection and here you can connect devices in mesh net so this is your own private network so it allows you to remotely link devices to access some security and route traffic through another device so basically i could connect to my laptop and i've shown you how easy it is to connect but it's really really simple if i want to access us netflix but specific show isn't available in the uk all i would do is search new us and because the closer the server is to your actual location the quicker the connection would be so i'm going to search new york because that's quite close to the uk and then boom we have 472 servers i just click on new york and you see i'm already connected and i will be able to access all the different features of us netflix or any other show like hulu amazon prime whatever so you can access all the best deals for nordvpn the link in the description of the pinned comment if you found value in this video please like subscribe thank you